So how's it going you guys? This is going to be the final boss fight for Ellen and I hope you guys enjoy. I will be uh, detailed as much as possible, so just uh, bear with me you guys. So pretty much when you first start off, the boss is going to absorb some of your folks, so that means some of your folks are going to be disabled, but that's okay. Uh, this is going to be part one of the fight, so all we need is Degasser and Ogma. So Ogma Slash and Degasser is Destroy. Those are the, probably the best ones you want to use so far. Uh, you might actually be able to use Gargantula. I didn't think about that until now. Um, but Ogma, Degasser is just fine. But um, you, you could probably use uh, Gargantula as well, too. So we're going to absorb the uh, ID here so we can avoid some of the balls there to uh, get our invincibility frames. Because when you absorb IDs, you get invincibility the whole time through the whole animation. So now we're into phase two. Phase two, you want to use thunder attacks. That's going to be the most um, reliable. So you're going to want to use uh, Muscari since uh, that's probably one of the best so far since Good Boy is disabled. And you want to get to the right of the uh, right head. That's probably the best spot to stand so you could avoid some of the bubbles. But be careful when you use Muscari because it will put you in a stationary position. Um, so you want to. Uh, you know, use it when it's safe, watch out for the bubbles, and watch out for the black hole. When you hear the crows crow, after they're done crowing, wherever position that you're standing at, that's where the black hole is going to come out of. So, uh, you have to be careful on where you're standing, and just pay attention to the crows when they crow. So, we took out the right head, now we want to use Good Boy to take out the uh, left head. It should take no more than 10 seconds to take out the uh, left head. As soon as we have that head gone, we want to absorb the uh, ID. So now we're into part three. We're going to be using Peg Prowler, which is a water element. So use Peg Prowler, take out the, uh, doesn't matter which head. I usually take out the left head. The right head, it's a little bit higher, so you can go under the laser beam sometimes if you're under the head, if you're attacking the left one. But I almost got hit there, so I used uh, Kill Millis to uh, block. So it only takes five shots as long as you have your Peg Prowler's Karma all the way up. So now we have we killed the left head. Now we're gonna focus on the right. So like I said, watch out for the uh, the dark hole. So when you hear the crows crow, just uh, whenever they whenever they stop crowing, just uh, move out the way in that area. So the black hole, you know, is gonna come out of there. And as long as you're uh, out of that area of the black hole, you won't get hit. The black hole won't you know decide to move at the last minute. So we killed the uh, the heads now. The heads are gone, so you want to switch to Gargantula, and you want to use the uh, Griffin. And you'll see why we're going to be using the Griffin here. And then we're going to use Degasser, of course, too, as well. So the uh, boss is going to spawn uh, crows around him. So we're going to use the Griffin to blow away the crows. Just use the Griffin three times. The crows will go away. Watch out for the big uh, purple-pinkish sphere. Um, so we're going to be using Gargantula and Degasser here. So as soon as the uh, boss makes that big sound, that means that he's going to uh, respawn the crows again. So just prepare yourself and uh, use the Griffin three times. And then also too, you're going to have to watch out for these random um, spirit birds. Uh, usually four comes out. Uh, left right left right so just be careful just dodge them or block them or just do whatever you feel comfortable with but don't stand to the right or to the left of the boss because you won't know when the birds will come out so just attack the boss forward head on so you know when the when they come out so uh, Gargantula Degasser he makes a sound the birds respawn uh, I almost got hit there because I almost wasn't paying attention so then three of those and then Gargantula and um, Degasser Watch out for the spirit birds. Boss makes the big, gigantic sound. Crows respawn. So just keep this up, and as long as you keep this up, you'll be fine. Dodge the uh, spirit birds. For some reason, I always get scared blocking the fort, so I just block it. So Gargantilla and Degasser, just keep this up, and the ID should come out pretty soon. So the boss is going to use the uh, giant purple spheres here. So just dodge those. Don't try to attack because you'll get hit most likely. And don't even try to block them because uh, 
I guess they're un they're un unblockable. Um, I haven't tried using the golem, but for a kill, it's uh, you can't block it. So there's the idea of the scarecrow. So what's gonna happen here is Levain and Keats are gonna help you. So they're just gonna do a lot of talking here. So just after the talking, that's when you uh, have to uh, absorb uh, the ID. So just you know do what you can, and then eventually they'll come in and help you, and you know you get the uh, ID up a lot faster with their help. So this one you just wait until uh, it turns red and move the controller up. This one um, you just shake the controller when the ID starts to shake. When it doesn't you just sit there. So Keith, he's going to help us in just a sec. So this one here just move the controller up when it turns red. Shake it, don't move it. Shake it some more. This one you have to. Um, I don't like this one because I know it's it's kind of annoying because you have to. Uh, not this one, but this one here. You have to uh, keep it in the red. So you have to slightly move your controller left and right, and then you have to balance it. It's it's really hard. This is like the one I really hate the most. This one's the easiest. You just move the controller left to right. Very, very easy. You get, you can absorb the ID very quickly with this one. And then just move your controller up, and then the final boss is defeated. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you guys um, enjoyed all my Folklore boss run videos. And uh, I'm finished. Thanks for watching. It's time for me to move on to a different game, and you guys have yourselves a good day.